Hey guys, today we have the first video about rendering here on the channel and to start the series we are going to create this render. So we are going to divide the rendering process into a four stages. First, let's create a background and configure the render cam. In the second step, add in the lights for our products. The third step is creating and configuring the materials. In the last steps, let's set up render and composition. So let's start by creating a background. I will create a large plan to fill the entire view in the camera. I center the plan in the skin. We are going to extrude these edges and use the chamfer to smooth this edge. Once that is done, let's create the camera. In the top view, we are going to go to Cameras and Corona Cam. Just click and drag and the camera will be created with the targets. Without W, we'll change the view and in the first one, we are going to change to the camera view to make the configuration easy. I'm going to center the model in the skin and in the zoom factor, we are going to adjust the image zoom. Let's go to Render Setup to configure the camera resolution. Let's go to Custom and adjust it to 600 by 600 to have a preview for the render. Now we can better adjust the zoom. Once the camera configure is finished, let's create the lights. In Corona Light, change the shape of the lights to rectangle we can create a light above the model. From the slides, we will create a copy using the rotation to have a light on the top of the object. Position the lights a little further away from the object. Let's create another copy of the top light and position this new light next to the model. Let's do the same creating a light on the other side. However, this time we will rotate this light so that it is in the direction of the background. We will also rotate the side light a little. To finish, we will create a last light detail that will be positioned behind the model. In this light, we will reduce its scale so that it's just a small trip of the light. Once that is done, let's bring our last but most important light source to our render, which is the HDRI. In the Material Editor, let's create a new environment material. In 3ds Max itself, we already have some HDRI options, but for this video, I'm going to use a separate one. You can easily find it on the Polyheaven. After loading the HGRI, let's go to Render Setup, Skin, and in Skin Environment, change it to Single Map and drag the HGRI to our skin. Now let's decrease the intensity of the lights we created. By default, all lights come with a value of 50. I'm going to use values between 1 and two for the lights closest to the model. For this detail light, we are going to disable this two option so that it's not visible directly in the render and in the reflection. For the side lights, we are going to use a value of five. We are also changing the temperature to have a color blend. I usually use a warm tone on the sides and a colored tone on the other. In this background light, we will set the value of 15. Now that we have configured the lights, we will start creating the materials. First, the background material. I will use a physical corona material. 
let's change it to a metallic material and choose a color to blend with the main tone. I will choose a brown tone. Here I will change the color to the correct position and now I will choose a color for the background. In roughness I will leave it at 0.45 and change the anisotropy to 0.1. Finally, I will make this color a little more saturated and closer to a pink tone. I will change the name and apply it to the model. To preview render, we will change the view to the camera. With the Shift F, we will enable the camera view. In render setup, we will enable the noise in corona mode. In light mix setup, we will generate the skin lights in your render and finally, we will click on start interactive. Here, we will see approval of how our render is working and in light mix, we will have all the lights in addition to the HGRI. We can close it and continue to create the materials. Let's open the material editor again and also the Corona material library. I'm going to take two materials from the library. First, the glass clean. Just click and drag to the material editor and they will be loaded. For the perfume liquid, I'm going to use this wine white. I'm going to use only the two from the library. We can now close it and apply the glass material to the model. And also the liquid material. In this liquid material, I'm going to change the diffuse to the value of 1. In this glass material, we are going to create a sliced very subtle dirt just to create a variation in the reflection of the HRI on the glass. To do this, we are going to use a bump and add a corona normal. In additional bump mapping, I'm going to add a cellular. We are going to start with the tiling and 15 in all axis. I'm going to reduce the intensity of 0.2. Here we have a brief preview of how the glass is behaving. Let's preview the hinder. Here we will see that the effect is very large. I'm going to go back to the material and increase the tiling to 25 to reduce the size of the dirty pattern. Once that is done, let's create the gold metallic material. We will create a physical corona again. We will change it to the metal and I will have that 0.5 for level and 0.2 for roughness. In color, we will go for a golden tone. And in add color, I will put the very desaturated red tone. In BAM, we add a Corona Normal and load a texture that I created in the Substance Painter. What I did was export this object from the front of the model, where the brand logo is. After that, I load the object into Substance Painter and use Bake Mesh to create the object map. Here I simply imported the logo and added it to the material's highest channel. I adjust the position and diff of the logo and export the map. Very simple. And here we have the normal map that was generated by Substance. I'm going to load it and enable Add Gamma to input to correct the normals. Any map traced, I'm going to leave it at 0.3.
we apply it to the object and you see it in the interactive handler. Ok, it's working correctly. To finish with the materials, we are going to create a mood sub object. This material allows us to apply more than one material to the same object. In set number, we are going to change it to true. In the first channel, I'm going to drag the golden material with the copy. We are going to remove the logo map, we won't need it on the lights. And in the second channel, I'm going to create a new material. In this one, I'm going to create a Corona Legacy, just so you can see that regardless of whether it's legacy or physical, both working correctly. In color, I'm going to add a Corona color material. In solid color, we are going to add a very dark blue tone. Almost pulling towards black. Here in reflection, we are going to use the value of 1 and in glossiness 0 0.8. Ready, now that we have the materials created. We are going to apply them to the lid. Note that only the metallic material appears in the model. The thing is that this entire object has an ID of 1. Let's add an edit poly and select the areas where we should apply the second material and consequently change its ID to 2. Note that now we have the two materials applied to the same object. Let's select the interior and change its ID to 1 again to have that golden main detail. And ready, once the material stage is finished. Let's go to preview and see if everything is correct. Here we see that everything is working correctly. In our last mix tab, we have the list of our skin and we can now start making finer adjustment. Here, we start the composition of the hinder. Let's adjust the lights so that no lights is blown out. Make the necessary adjustments to make the image more balanced. At this stage, I prefer to make quick adjustments and make finer adjustments when the final render is ready. In for our final hinder, Let's go to Render Setup. In Pass Limited, I will leave it at 15 and the noise, in this case I use 5. I will leave the render resolution for this project at 2K. I think that it's an all. I made a preview of the materials and decided to reduce the interest of the glass bump a little bit. I will leave it at 0.15 and I also made a slight adjustment to the slow light. I just positioned it a little lower and closer to the model. Once that is done, let's go to the handle. A few moments later. Here we have the image of our handle. We also have the lights that we use it separated. Where we can now use them for post-production. Here, we'll see that we zoom in, there's still a bit jarred in the image. To solve this, we can increase the noise to 1 and it clean up the image a bit more. For post-production, we use the Corona itself. This is for those of you who don't use Photoshop and prefer to do everything in the same software. Here, in tone mapping, we have the image adjustments. I'm going to change the contrast here, we can see that it's working perfectly. We also have saturation. Here the parameter is very sensitive, so we are going to use very low values. In our light mix, we can adjust the lights as we already have seen.
I'm going to reduce the contrast a bit. Here we also have an option for blurring and sharpening. I'm going to bring in a bit of grain so that it, the image doesn't look to wash it out. Above, we have bloom and glare, which are very interesting effects that give an extra bust to the image. Let's increase the intensity here, and you can see that it gives more emphasis to the bright. We also have other parameters that you can explore, it's okay. So, to save this image, let's go to save and hold down the save button. We have two more options in this one, save all. In addition to the final render, we save all the separate image of the lights and the HRI that we insert into our skin. We use this option to create a post in another image editing software, such as Photoshop or Premiere. Just create a new folder, select the file extensions, in this case I use PNG, and we choose a name for the file. Here it will save out the separate image for us. Well everyone, that was today's video. Here we have the image that was generated in our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the contents. See you next time. Bye, subscribe to the channel, it's very important. Thank you.